Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to utilize our custom dataset to train the YOLO object detection algorithm. And we will utilize the free GPU provided by Google to train our model so that it will be super fast. And this complete video will be a step-by-step -step tutorial to train a custom object detection algorithm with help of your dataset. So we will start with downloading some of the images with the help of an extension. Then we will try to annotate all those images with help of the makesense.i tool. Then we will upload the dataset on our Google Drive. And we will mount the Google Drive to Google Collab to use it as a storage. Then we will train the YOLO object detection algorithm with help of our custom dataset. And at last we will run the object detection model on the weights which we have trained on our custom dataset and will do pistols detection in real time. So without waiting, let's get started. So first of all, you will need to add some extension to your Google Chrome so that you will be able to download all your images in bulk. There are multiple extensions available within Google Chrome that can download images for you in bulk. But we will download a specific image downloading extension. To download the image downloading extension, search Chrome Web Store in Google, and when the store window gets appears, click on the search bar, and search the image downloader image I. Choose image downloader image I, and click on add to Chrome. When the pop-up appears click on add extension. And then pin it. Now, after you have successfully downloaded the image downloader extension and also add it to Chrome. Let's get started downloading the pistol images by searching pistol images in Google. You can download your images from the Images section of Google. Or you can download them from a specific website like Unleash or any other. I'll choose Shutterstock for downloading my images. The image downloading extension will catch all the images which are loaded on your current page. You can see that all the images are loaded on my current page. Now click on the image downloader extension. This extension will load all the images which are on your current page for downloading. When the extension loads all the images, click on the type and select JPG as we required only the JPG images. You can also specify the size of your images from the Size tab. Click on the Select All button, and then click on Download Images. Before downloading your images please specify the path to which you want to download your images. You can change it from the download setting in your browser. At last click on download to download your images, and you are seeing that it is downloading in bulk. When you download all the images on your current page, then move on to the next page of your browser, and repeat the same process to download more images for your dataset. So this is the folder in which I have just downloaded all my pistol images through the image downloader extension. When all your images are get downloaded, then delete all the unnecessary and irrelevant images. Just keep the relevant images according to your criteria. Then rename the images for better processing. I'll upload a rename.py file with the help of that file you can rename all your image files easily. When you removed all the irrelevant images and renamed them. Then we will move on to the annotation part. You can annotate your images with the help of many tools, but in this project, we will annotate images using the makesense.i annotation tool. Search makesense.ai in Google then click on the first result, and the tool will be ready for you. Makesense.ai is open source and free to use, with no pre-installation required. Supports multiple label types like rectangles, lines, points, and polygons, and supports many output file formats like YOLO, XML, and many more. Then by clicking Get Started the file uploading page will get appear. You can drag and drop your images folder or you can select it here. I will drag my images folder and will drop it over here. You are seeing all the images are loaded, then we'll click on Object Detection. As we are doing pistol detection in this project. So we will specify our label by writing pistol in the insert label section and we'll press enter. Remember if you are doing multiple object detection specify all your labels here. I'll also specify the knife and rifle categories to show you how can you add multiple labels. So write your label, and then press enter. 
I'll remove the rifle and we'll keep the knife label to illustrate how can you annotate multiple objects. When you add all your labels, then click on Start Project. You can see the main window gets appeared, so we will start annotating our images by drawing rectangles over the object which is present in the image. If you are annotating for other models and it needs a different label type you can choose it from the window which is on the right side of the screen. After drawing the rectangle over the object we will specify its label, and please remember not to cover the extra area just cover up the object's area only. Now we will move on next and we'll annotate all the images one by one. You are seeing that when drawing the box over the objects, the tool specifies the pistol label automatically because we choose that earlier. If you are annotating different objects just change the label according to the object type. If you have multiple objects present in one single image, draw a box over all of the objects, and if different objects were present then choose their labels according to the object from the label section, please remember not to overlap one object box over the other. I hope you understand how to annotate images. I annotated a few of them in this tutorial because I have annotated all my images before, remember you will have to annotate all your images. I'll share my image dataset along with their annotations, the link will be in the description. When you are done with the annotation part, click on the action tab and select export annotations, then choose YOLO format zip package, and click on export. Now our annotation file is downloaded. We will extract the annotation file. Inside the extracted file all our images annotations are present. We will copy the annotations and will paste them into the same directory in which our images are stored. You are seeing that each image has its own annotation file, and with the exact same name just the annotation file has the .txt extension, that's why you have to rename the image files before going for annotations. Now let's open one annotation file, inside the file 0 represents the class ID, as we have done annotation for one single label, so it will be 0 in all the annotation files, if you have done annotation on objects with multiple labels, so the ID will change according to the object ID, the rest values are the coordinates of the bounding box specifying center X, center Y, width and height of the bounding box which we have drawn on the pistol. When you download your annotation file and store the annotation files in the same directory where the images are present, then zip the dataset directory and upload it to Google Drive. You can upload your file using drag and drop or you can select it from here. I have already uploaded my zip file, I'm just illustrating it to you so I'll cancel the file uploading. In my uploaded file there are 6,000 files, 3,000 image files along with its annotation. I'll share that file with you. So that's all from this video. Let's meet in the next video in which we will train YOLOV3 on our dataset with free GPU provided by Google.